As the kids go back to school, you may find yourself coming down with a sore throat. Lake ENT's physician assistant, Christine Halverson, explains her approach to treating sore throats in kids and adults. If somebody is having a sore throat, uh, generally you'll look for other systemic issues such as a fever, um, chill sweats, how long it's been going on, and on exam looking at their throat, is there evidence of uh, pus in the throat, tonsil inflammation, is the back wall red, and uh, there can be some cobblestoning, which is a clinical term we use that suggests postnasal drainage and then looking down at the throat either with an indirect exam with a mirror or with a flexible endoscope to look at the voice box and see if there's some redness or swelling or if there's any lesions or problems with the actual vocal cords. We see children all the time with different problems from being at school because they are so full of germs and different viruses and of course kids share everything. They give each other kisses and hugs and all that good stuff. Uh, but the biggest advice to parents I would say is make sure that you teach your kids how to wash their hands. That's the most important thing in having them not touch their face and you know the more that kids can do that the better off that they're going to be and you know kind of promote hand sanitizers when you can that way the kid can be as healthy as possible and not get through too many sick days that they have. As far as treating a child, you really have to win their you know, trust in you to come at them with the equipment that you need to look and probe their ears, nose, and throat and get them to cooperate. So I usually try to interact a little bit and get a little bit of a personal you know, level with the child and, and try to make it a fun you know, exam. My approach to treating a pediatric patient is treating them like they are one of their own. They're not just the child. Um, you don't only talk to the parents, you actually talk to the kid on their level. And you ask them where does it hurt and they actually will usually give you different answers than the parents will. You know, kind of just explaining it to them on their own level exactly what's going on and most of the time you do earn their trust and they're willing to come back and they'll open their mouth nice and wide for you without you know, fighting with them the whole time. So they really enjoy that you actually treat them as an individual. For appointments and more information about the services offered at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat, and Facial Plastic Surgery, click the Treating Sore Throat story link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.